Hey everybody, my name is Fork, as you know, Dao New, and I'd like to welcome you back to the Distance Beta for another track showcase. Today's track is Over the Edge by Floatium. And you know what? I just, I, I kind of just want to let this one speak for itself, but at the same time, I'm not, I'm not gonna, not gonna let it do that at all. This is a really, really awesome track, as it, like, it starts off a little weird, um, but as you go, oh, you realize that the creator knows what he's doing the entire time. There's not a second where Floatium was like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do here. There's really, really good visual contrast. A lot of really solid use of teleporters. Um, really good, really, really good color choices. And there's a lot of color choices. Awesome road transitions. Really good visual cues like that laser to let you know to, hey, don't go here. Awesome, but minor track switches, like the one we just did there. That we could also have gone right there. Um, and just, all in all, it's just a really, really solid track. I, I struggle to find anything really wrong with it. Unlike, you know, some tracks, you don't go through a teleporter and end up clipping the edge of the end piece or anything like that. There are a couple of parts where, I, I know some people don't like having to hold down the uh, front thrusters in order to not fall off of a track, but I personally don't find anything wrong with it, but there are a couple of parts where you have to do that. This part gives you a checkpoint in the middle of the air, which I know some people are like, oh no, that's no good, but when you reset, one, the checkpoint's going the right way, and two, it, it places you, oh, <laughs> it places you just right if you don't use your thrusters wrong. So there's that. You can go left or right, but the, all of the splits, oh. <laughs> All of the splits are, are really, really minor, and they join back up pretty quick. That said, there's a, there's a definite speed difference, I, I, I feel. I feel that I feel there's a difference in speed. And that's what matters. This curve is a little pointless, but there I'm nitpicking. I love, I love the visuals. I love the color transitions. The fact that there's a different color on the side and on top of most of the track pieces, very, very well done. Uh, the obstacles done great. Only a, a few spots where you really need to do a trick so you can really focus on going fast and not hitting things. That said, there could probably stand to be a few more obstacles. I mean, you know. There's, there's nothing wrong with having them in here, you're a little obstacle shy. The ones that are here are mostly used for visual purposes, I feel. Uh, because there's... Oh, except for these. These, really, really well done. I love that part. I love how you're just barely able to actually make it through there. It's it's solid. I like the slalom feel at the end. Really, really just... Mwah, mwah, so good! So good! So, last time we went... Left and then right, now we're gonna go right and then left. Except on this part, because that it doesn't even matter. I feel like that's kind of there if you separate the wheat from the chaff, if you will. Some people will get caught on that, some people won't. You know how it is. Lasers here, a little bit. Uh, again, this is stuff that some people will get caught on, and some people will probably have a harder time with with many of these, especially people that don't that you can just drive through that last bunch of lasers. I love this purple and green. I want more tracks with this color scheme. Get get to work, guys. I'll, I'll make one, maybe. Oh, oh god. Oh god, this, 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 this is embarrassing. Hang on, wait. Nope. Hang on, we're good. We're oh. We're good. See, we totally na nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Nothing's going wrong here at all. I went... <laughs> it was all according to plan. I wanted to show you that you can beat the track upside down. No, I... I screwed that up. Not this time, though. Not this time. I kind of wish that if you went over these, they would cut you, but they don't. Okay, sirrah, sirrah. You're going really, really fast here. It's important to note that because you're not going to turn how you normally would. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, oh, where am I? Let's take a look over here. I'm, cur I'm curious to see what's over here now. Hmm. 
Oh, nope, that's like that's a kill grid. Okay. Good job, me! I figured things out all on my own. Let's try and take this a little bit. Uh, oh, shit. Oh. God, you know what? I'm telling you, there's just something about talking while you're recording that just takes away all semblance of skill. I'm not bad at distance. We know, we know, we know that I'm not bad at distance. Yet every time I record, I get bad. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. That should have taken that many tries. Like right before recording, it wasn't that hard. But whatever, whatever, whatever. Fine. Okay. Maybe I am bad. And then from there, it's all pretty much the same. There's one more split that I think we're coming up to soon. If you're bad with thrusters, you'll mess that part up. Here we go. And we go left. More obstacles! This part's really cool because you remember we came up this part at the very start. So it's really cool that it sends you right back down, especially since those ramps, they earlier they were obstacles and then there you actually need to use them. I really, really like that. I think that's a really, really interesting way to go about lengthening a track. And it's a good way to reuse track and sort of keep the keep the object count low so that our frame rate doesn't get totally screwed. I don't really have any frame rate issues on this track. There are a couple of spots where it dips to, like right there, it dipped down to 40 and you guys saw it. But all in all, this is a very, very solid track and I think you guys should definitely check it out. Once again, it's Over the Edge by Floatium. You can find a link to its Steam Workshop page in the description below. I hope you guys check it out and beat my time. I think that this is my best. No, my best time is, my best time is 221. So there you go. Try and beat that. Some of you definitely will. Some of you already have, just saying. Thank you guys for joining me for this episode of Distance Track Showcases. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe for more. If you have any suggestions for a distance track that I should showcase, please leave a comment down below or shoot me a message on Twitter. My handle is at ForkH. That's all. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!